this so now i have downloaded all the files from the youtube at various different resolutions frame rate and bitrate so let's start the testing so first uh, i i got one comment on the video that uh, someone was asking that does this 4k resolution video also play in h.264 although it should play but just to uh, make confirmation i got this clip from the user and let's see how it got played this is h.264 in a 4k resolution as you can see it's playing fine no frame drops doesn't look like That's the one test. Okay, so now let's test some HEVC files, which I've already tested in earlier video, but just for the completeness and to make everything clear, let's test again. So this is HEVC files, which I downloaded from Jellyfish website. So these, as you can see, these are 4K files at various different bit rates, and this Jellyfish files are 30 FPS. So let's start playing one by one. So this is 120 Mbps. Yeah, it plays fine. I don't see any lag or something. This is HEVC codec H.265. Okay, let's go higher. 140 Mbps. This has the audio also. This plays fine. Okay. More higher. Let's try 200. It is doing some internal buffering. It does get played. Yeah, 400. Still taking a lot of time internal buffering but as you can see there is a huge lag things got slower the processor is not able to process the frames fast enough and the let's try 200 one more time because I think 200 also had this problem seems okay yeah so I think we are safe till 140 200 I'm not sure this clip although it's playing 400 definitely as you see it's not playing okay let's go see some other so this is that LG NASA HDR demo this is a 60 FPS file 4k resolution encoded in HEVC and this is HDR also so this also is playing fine. This does play fine. Okay, so one thing is clear that this MITV does support 4K resolution with uh, HDR and HEVC codec. 
and even 60 F FPS is also working fine. So now let's try some VP9. Okay, let's start with the lowest one. So this is the 4K file encoded in VP9 codec at 23 frames per second. As you can see, even the first frame it is not playing good. Let's go to 30 FPS. Even that is not playing good. Get stuck. Sixty FPS. No, no chance it can play. Some other file which I got. These are the VP9 files in twenty-three frame, twenty-three or twenty-nine FPS. Let's see. Even these are not getting played. These files are getting played on my i7 laptop. So I think it's definitely related with the CPU. This also is not getting played. So definitely. So, as we have seen that VP9 codec doesn't play good at all. So, but we have seen the same thing that YouTube does play uh, VP9 at uh, what file, Hawaii file was getting played at a lower uh, resolution. So, I downloaded a Hawaii file. At least at 720 and 1080, Hawaii clip was getting played on in YouTube. So, I downloaded those files in a VP9 format. As you can see, this is a WebM format and see that whether the playback locally works fine or no. So it started, as you can see, not good. Even 720 is jerky. See, 1080 is not playing at all. So 720 in VP9 codec is not playing at all low locally. But if the same clip if I try to play via YouTube, it does play. So I think YouTube somehow is handling the decoder better than the local player. Let's see this file. This is from the internet playing and I will tell you. I will put 720 in VP9. That was not playing as we have seen in the player. But here you see it's playing nicely. See, there are very less frame drops and this works fine even with a lower frame rate and a lesser movement 1080 also plays fine on a from youtube but the same 1080 clip was not getting played when playing from the mitv player this also plays fine there are some initial frame drops but after that it plays fine but if you download the similar clip and try to play from the MITV player it doesn't play so then I thought okay maybe there is some problem with the MITV player so I downloaded MX player and VLC okay let me see in this also we can go and open the Hawaii click and as you have seen 720, 1080 both was getting played from the YouTube. Let's start 720. So there 
this got played. But there is some jerks. What about this? There's definitely jerks, as you can see. So what next? Let's also see the high action clip, what we have seen in the Samsung clip. There was high action. So with 720p and this is the WebM format. See, it is not able to play at all. 720 itself. I don't think this can play. MP4, yeah, the same thing I downloaded MP4 also and it's playing nicely. But the same thing if I don't put in WM format, it doesn't play. See this. So what is the conclusion here? What I can think of is that uh, and I also have seen the MI TV web page and MI never says that for this TV that it supports VP9 codec. On uh, So I think uh, whatever the media you have locally on your hard drive and whatever you are going to encode and uh, rip it, based, the best thing is to rip in HEVC format. As we have seen that uh, local playback from the USB drive, HEVC plays very fine, smoothly, everything is going fine. And from the YouTube, we have seen that for the action clip, I think 720 or 1080 YouTube can play. and. Uh, for the VP9 codec and the, for the 4K we don't have any solution yet that 4K will play in YouTube. So that's all for this video. Do let me know your comments, feedback and or anything you also want me to test on this MIT TV. Thanks. Bye.